Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the next episode of HLY. HLY. Actually, I saw that from you. HLY. HLY. Garrosh is long lost, bro. I am Garrosh. All right, guys. So, what are we doing today here, bros? We're going to be doing the young 1v1. The young oh, one. Part two. Part two. I guess. Well, it's not really. It's kind of like. Kind of like my league videos are kind of like spinoffs of. Kind of, but like not really. Blah blah blah. Anyways, it's them so off. um, so essentially, we're, I'm gonna do the uh, battle arena for them, and then yeah, battle arena. Then I'm gonna uh, tell them kind of what the rules is at the beginning, and uh, yeah, we're gonna we do, do that. Have to do it in role play. So <laughs> yeah. Uh, so if you guys, while I'm making the map, want to tell uh, the audience, if I can find the markers. Wait, where are they at? They're yeah. there. They're there. See, oh, they're there. Hey guys. Oh, I didn't fucking see you there. What's up, bro? <laughs> uh, if you guys Dude, want to... put your pants back on. What are you doing? Breaking the fourth wall, man. <laughs> That's the point. Um, so if you guys could uh, tell them what your characters are. Oh, yeah, sure. And, uh, Go ahead. So we will roll through. to see who does it first. No, just, you know? Okay. <laughs> All right. My character is named Makuta Zahil. He is a... High Elf Rogue, specifically of the Arcane Trickster path. Now, I know this sounds weird, because Arcane Tricksters are usually used in utility and outside of combat, but Arcane Tricksters get a lot of spells which can hide them from hide them from their opponents, making it very difficult for the opponent to find them. Find you? Exactly. Oh, yeah. So not only that, but while I'm, while I'm hidden, I get advantage on my attacks. So I hide myself and I give myself advantage to attack. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. So it hopefully should, should go well. Oh, yeah. Ooh, come swoop and see. Yeah. All right, your turn. All right, uh, so today I'm going to be playing a um, level 17 monk, level 3. Um, wait, no, that's last game. That's last game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, that's you weren't talking about that. Um, that's last game. I, I'm going to be a level 20 paladin, specifically of the Oak of the Ancients variant. I am a half orc. And I ride a horsey, and I use a two-handed weapon. And so that's me. So you actually have. Oh, you go in the mountain combat. I did, my love. <laughs> then this is gonna be hilarious. Why is the dude fucking chasing you around all day? No, because one of my abilities just completely negates that. Of course. Yeah, just no, just the mountain combatant strategy in general. Interesting. They don't, they don't have advantage if they're fucking on a horse. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag DM rules. Hashtag, hashtag not allowed, just just because I say so. Hashtag no horse. He's using my strategy from the last one since I used a horse in the well, last Well, because I have... Actually, technically, I was the first one who... Well, you were the kind of the first one, but I was the, the first one who started. What are you talking about? about? You're a liar. What we got a liar here. Yeah. No, wait, what? Liar alert. No, he did this way before we started mm -hmm. his campaign, dude. Yeah. When did he do it? A long time ago. We did it like two months ago, bro. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm a liar. He's a liar. <laughs> for God. Yeah, he for God. Yeah. I, Apparently, we're fighting in a city as well. I mean, I'm okay with that. I'm sure you are. I'm very okay with that. See, Look at all these small areas that your horse can't get to because it's a large creature. Okay, I'll go hide over here then. I'll do your strategy. Just hide like a bitch. <laughs> yeah, I can. Uh, I'll see you do a stealth check against the monsters that come out here. Let's see how well that works. Oh, because I'm sure they'll just have stupid monsters who can't see. That would be balanced. <laughs> to have just monsters to counter me. I mean, they could counter me if they can find me. Fine, then have a beholder. He can see everything. So, <laughs> we don't need someone that can just auto-kill you. He's level challenge rating six. Yes, but if you fail the saving turn, you auto-die. Then get gooder. Is that, is that, wait, what, what are you talking they about? They have eye rays, which about... can auto-kill oh, yeah, and disintegrate you. Oh, yeah, Only if you reduce to zero health. All right, so I'm going to tell you kind of the prognosis. So this, no, doctor, yes. please, <laughs> doctor DM, is it the syphilis? <laughs> uh, this building, these doors. I don't really know how to make the doors like this, but they're too wide. By the way, this wait, is a wait, building. They're too wide. Well, they're going to fall if they're too wide. Ah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> um, I just got that. Yeah. <laughs> how did you not? Get I, I didn't get it at first. <laughs> um, didn't get what you were going for. Sorry. I need to make this like this. Windows. No. Well. Yeah, I need to do that too. I kind of forgot about that. Oh, um, we'll do this. This uh, the squigglies are gonna uh, determine uh, for windows. They better not have any glass in them, otherwise we're gonna have to. 
Man, you got glass in you. Right. So, these are ladders. To get up to the top. To get up to the ceiling of the building. Okay. Uh, these are one, basically one story. Uh, these doors are two wide. These are one wide. These will actually go up to the um, top of the thing. This, these are like uh, stairs or whatever, so you can get up on top of here. Two dimensions, sorry. Gotcha. Um, uh, up here, I will explain that later. Uh, these are walls. Uh, okay, I see that. Yes. I, I see Where walls. do we start? Uh, I'm, Wherever I'll you want. You, I'll tell you. And then this is the um, announcer booth. An so, announcer booth? Announcer booth! Is it Abathorn? No, <laughs> is it Abathorn? Is it Rayquaza? Is it Rayquaza? Yes, it's Rayquaza. It's Mew. It's Mew. It's Mew. It's Mew. It's Mew. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, so I no. both need you guys to roll a d20. Uh, what? Yes, what? roll a d20. Alright, I got a 16. I got a 6. Alright. Okay. 6 so, 5. You got a 6 since, 5. Okay, since you got 10 lower, you were going to spawn here. What if we both got ten or lower? Then What's I'd your plan to, there? I, I'm gonna re-roll. I have to re-roll, <laughs> and then uh, you're gonna be right here. I'm going to be right there. I want you to be opposite, so you're gonna be. Here. Close, you can't just change the rules, rules Kevin. Yes, like, actually, I can. No, you can't. Anyways, <laughs> so um, uh, before yeah, you're not actually in the Coliseum yet, so now I'm gonna establish the rules. You're not on a Coliseum yes. yet. <laughs> okay, wait, let me get these. <laughs> just dissolve. <laughs> I'm melting! Melting! I'm melting! Oh god, it's Abathorn! No, Abathorn is the, like, earth-looking guy. Anyways, so... Him and his fucking mech suit. <laughs> well, it doesn't happen. We broke it, it now! Yeah, it doesn't happen anymore. Yeah, it's our slave now. Check it. out our D&D playthrough. Hashtag not a plug-in plug-in. Hashtag <laughs> not a plug-in plug-in. Alright, uh, so... Here are the rules. Actually... Let me uh, be in touch. Announce it, yeah. <coughs> Please, my love. You're gonna get it with Southern accent too. <laughs> Howdy, young young fellows. Howdy, uh, young fellows. I just take my crossbow. Yeah, can I just the shoot announcer. This guy? <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna do an individual for both of you, so you don't hear this yet. Uh, well, I, I guess I'll so, close my eyes. Uh, what is your speciality, Mister? Speciality. What the fuck? Speciality. Is that? Like your special skills. What are you skills? good at, dickbag? Yeah. Hiding in the shadows. Ooh. Hiding in the. Sh- the shadows, you say. I am shadow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I am shadow. the darkness. Well, we have some items of particular power that you may want in the center. If you can. Oh, it's like, oh, it's a fast. Yeah. This is Hunger Games. Yay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> uh, as well, you will get. 20 minutes to prepare any necessary spells, magic items, anything that you would need before the Magic items? Starts. Yeah, bro. Magic items. Magic, magic items. items. If you have, if, I mean, if you have, he doesn't know. No. Okay. He doesn't know that you have magic items. He doesn't, items. Know. He he doesn't, doesn't, he doesn't know that we're not allowed to have them, alright? Anyways, so, if you are you going to prepare anything? Uh, or you're not going to prepare anything? Yeah, why would he? Nope. Uh, hey man, I don't know if you have any preparation. Nope. Nope. Alright, he's just ready to go. Nope. Okay. Uh so now he goes over to you. And what is your speciality? What is your I smash things with bigger things? He gives a fall more. What is your profession? I smash things. Uh also Delgar smash! Delgar. <laughs> Delgar smash. Delgar Hellscream. Hellscream. Uh, he also gives you the same exact things. If you need any uh, preparation, no, for I brought my own. As I was saying, um, if you need to prepare any of your spells, no, I'm good. You good? Yeah, I already had my horse. I found it already. Dick bag. Okay. I found. I guess that shit was completely pointless to install. But uh, do you have any other spells no, you would like to? The, the All t- I needed was fine state. Yeah, which I did years ago. Okay. Back in Vietnam. Nah. Back in Nam. <laughs> yeah, 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 it has like scars on it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. Anyways, um, is there anything else? Uh, he also tells you that I there found is... the other steed too. Yeah, your steed. Yeah, I found your steed specifically. <laughs> 
I don't have a Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should get a Steve. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Anyway, so Can so we he, just continue with yeah, this? Yeah, he also says that there is also items of uh, particularity that you may enjoy. Oh, so, baby, I like all right. particular, particularity. Particularity. Yeah. I love particularity. So, all right, we're going to... All right. So he says, lift up the gates. Right, lift so, up the gates. The gates. <laughs> the gates. All right, so uh, roll this. this. Roll Command could fail. I got a 10. I got a solid 15. Woo! Plus zero, and I still won, <laughs> bitches. <laughs> All right, Tyler, it is your turn to go first. Then it will be my turn. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> then it will be your turn to go, to go first. <laughs> All righty. So let's see. Oh. Do the manly thing. Charge! Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 10, 5, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 95, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, How's it going, bruh? How's it going, bruh? How's it going? Uh, does that commence your turn? Or do you no, have a bonus action? I got, I got fucking bullet. I didn't use an action. All I did was. Oh, yeah, dash with the your horse, bro. Yeah, the that, horse, yeah. man. Ah, the horsey. The horsey, bro. That's the horse action. I got the whore action. Wait. Alright, <laughs> I, I will cast Banishing Smite on myself. The fuck is that? <laughs> The, and Tell us, oh great one, what does Banishing Smite Within the next smite minute, do? the next time I hit with a melee attack, I add an extra 5d10 psychic damage. Uh, oh god, seriously? Well, that's actually only a bonus action, so... Wait, can I read it? Is yeah, sure, Banishing Smite. Well, right. let me just look what I'm actually okay. going to do. How, and tall, then I'll how cast, tall are these things here? And then I'll cast Death Ward on myself. Uh, these are, like, 10 feet high. And that's what he's building. Death Ward. Death these- Ward. These are within the next eight hours. If I go down to zero hit points, I go back up to one. Is that a spell? Yes. This you is can't like cast two spells in one yeah, turn. Yeah, yeah. Bonus action, action. action. One well, has to be a cantrip. Yeah. Okay, fine. Never mind then. Um, the uh, the <laughs> yeah, we figured that out. The no, hard way. no, you were just like, oh, well, Tyler's. Uh, this is fifty. This this is fifty feet up in the air, by the way. Not in the air. Fifty feet. Okay. Fifty feet. Gotcha. What's fifty feet? He's, I'm asking wall. how big the walls are and stuff like that. How tall okay. they are. That secondary effect's kind of funny. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. go ahead, Mitchell! But I don't think that'll actually go. If you, if you, I did that, I'll hit him under 50. Yeah, yeah. But if you do, I would laugh. Yeah, <laughs> but it's my next attack. Yeah, right. this is funny. My turn. 5, 10, let's see. Uh, so these are windows, correct? Correct. Alright, so it'll be... Remember, to get up on that second floor, though, you are you can get on the well, I'm thinking of going floor. inside the building. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Acrobatics check inside. Alright, okay. Okay, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got in. 22. A lot more than that. Really? Fucking 32. Oh, yeah, you're good. Oh, <laughs> you're going gracefully. Proficiency. How is that even? I have a plus awesome. 16 to acrobatics. Plus 16? Oh, because you get a plus 6 proficiency, double proficiency, oh, plus 4 Oh, my decks. Yeah. God. <laughs> you, Lord, you go into the window gracefully. <laughs> we. You're just like, I'm a motherfucking ninja. <laughs> this is, All right. Like, Dear God, that is 32. All right. Yay, max level character. Yes. <laughs> acrobatics right. check. Cutting action to dash so I can move another 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yep. And then uh, for my action, I will cast Mage Hand. And I summon a Mage Hand. <laughs> and you have a hand now. <laughs> yes, I do. How's the hand working out for you, buddy? It's working well. <laughs> it's so I will cool. use this die to signify the Mage Hand. That's fine. It's invisible, though, remember? It is invisible. Okay. All right. Is that your end of your turn, Mitchell? Yes. All right, here we go. All righty, buddy. Oh no, he seemed to have gone through some kind of window. I wonder if he's in the room! <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 20 At least the 30, horse can't get in 40, here. 40, yeah. 50, he has to get off 50, the horse. 5, 60. Horse too big to get in the door. No, it's not too big. You're a liar! <laughs> Bitch, I will get through! <laughs> it's just like punch. And what's it made of? It's made out of wood, so it's theoretically possible. Use the horse to trample the house. Down. I mean, you could use your weapon and try to. Eh. 
Yeah. I'm just gonna hide through the window like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a rogue, what do you want from He's me? He tries to be sneaky. Exactly. Alright, so I'll use half my movement to dismount my okay. horsey down here. And then I will do five, ten. Half it go. Half it go, baby. That's it. Oh, man. Here it comes. Half it going, buddy. Ready to get smited, bitch. Oh, <laughs> max level smite. All right, so I'm going to hit you with my sword. Well, not my sword. I don't even know what I have anymore. Gal- you don't know what your weapon is? is? I, I don't know what it's called. I know what it is. I think it's does. a gal- bird, I think. What? What the fuck are you talking about? What is a gal- bird? The, your two-handed weapon? Yeah, it's a it's a great axe. Great axe? Oh, okay. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? What's a good halberd? Halberd? Dude, there's, there's a weapon that I was looking at. It's two-handed. It's really it's good. It's a halberd. Problems. Halberd, yeah. And it's a ten-foot reach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that weapon. All right. So I will hit you with my penis. You mean your... My great axe. Your great axe. <laughs> that accent is you. very great. I got a 22 to hit. 22? Yes, you hit me. Yay! Yay! Alrighty, so... Because I hit you with the weapon, the I can goes use, off. well, the Banishing Smite goes off, but I can, if I hit you with a weapon, I can also activate my other Divine Smite, and then I can do a extra 2d8 uh, for a first level spell slot, or 1d8 for each spell slot higher than Correct. that. So then I will use a fifth level spell slot. He is Divine Smiting you for a fifth level. <laughs> So, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven D8. And then I get improved Divine Smite, so whenever I hit with a weapon, I get an extra 1D8, so that's 8D8. What is improved? Oh, that's with uh, 11th level. level. Okay. At 11th level, you get an extra 1D8 whenever you hit it all. I've actually played Paladin before, guys, so I kind of know what he's talking so about. So right now, it's at... It's so at 8D8. Two, three, four, five, six, six. 8D8. Plus another set. Wait, how yep. is it? 8d8, because you did a 5th level Divine Smite, oh, okay. plus your extra, 8 so it's 8d8, then what's your weapon damage? 8d8 is a 1d12. So you have 1d12. And then I get 5d10 mm-hmm. for my spell. 5d10 for your banishment. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> can I borrow some d8s? <laughs> what? Can I borrow some d8s? <laughs> yeah, you can borrow some of my, my d8s. There's one. 82. So, so I take 41 damage. 41 damage. You take 40. All right. Did you do your modifier with a d12? What's that? Your strength modifier with the d12. Oh, no, I didn't add my so modifier. So you add an extra... Add an extra four damage. So, minus two again. Minus two. Alright, so next attack. Another divine strike! Another, another, divine, divine, shot. another divine smite! Coming at you. Actually, since I just used that one, now my concentration is free. Actually, I gotta use it immediately, never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't. If I use extra attack. Yep. Alright, so that's gonna be a 22 to hit as well. Yes. You okay. have a plus 10 to hit. Plus six, plus four. Dang, all right, Proficiency, yep. Yeah. Level 20 is almost always yeah, fucking right? hit. All right, so uh, since I hit, I'll use... Uh... Now, does it say I can only use it? No, when I hit a creature with a melee weapon attack. I can do whatever I want. Well, at least you won't get that 5d10. Yeah. No, I won't get 5d10. No, he, so right. he, he doesn't get the banishment. All right, so now I'll use that one. So that would be... So naturally, it would be 3d8, 4d8, 5d8, 6d8. It's 8d8. If you do a level 5. I don't have any more level 5, so it'd be 78. So it's 78. So 78. At least you can't uncanny dodge this. Yeah. 78 plus a d12. And then... He's trying to just burst you down he at is. this point. I am. Well, he's not going to kill me. Yeah. He's going to weaken me, but he won't die. It's the uncanny. Uh, it's 32, 34, so 34. 36. 36 damage. 36. Yeah, I'll say. Alright, and uh, yeah, uh, did I use my bonus action yet? No. Okay. Uh, why couldn't I use. Oh, because I had to do this thing. You, yeah, you can't okay. cast two spells on the same turn. That's why. I didn't cast a spell this turn. I know, you're good. Okay. You can cast a bonus spell. Okay. Um, what does that do? Uh, 46. Next time I hit you. Okay. 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 Next time you hit me, yep. I will activate my ability, Spell Thief. When you activate a spell, you need to make a saving throw and adding your spell modifier. Okay, well, it whatever, save DC. is it an ability or is it a spell? It is an ability. So what does it do? You need to do a saving throw and add your spell modifier. So whatever stat you use to use your spell, okay. you add so it's that a plus modifier. 10. No, no, just the modifier? Just the modifier. Yeah, just okay, the modifier. so just plus Whatever spell you use. Whatever plus they four, use. so what am I doing? You need to go against my save DC, and if it fails, I negate your spell and then steal it. Okay. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's Arcane Trickster. Well, you should have sold that so I have advantage on saving throws against spells cast by other creatures within five feet of me. So I have advantage on this, because I have Mage Slayer. 
So I got a 17 plus 4, so 21. 21? Damn, you got it. Mage Slayer. All right, yeah, that's, well, that's your part of your... Uh, All right, your turn, then. That's no, no, I took the feet, Mage Slayer. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, and that concludes his turn. Yep. So right. now it's your turn, Mitchell. Disengage. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Then I will cast a level 4 spell, Greater Invisibility. Not Greater Invisibility. Oh, yeah, that's... Uh, I now go invisible. I am sneaky. Okay, there we go. Yep. I cast my spell, so now I am invisible. Not invisible. Oh, no. Oh, oh you, uh, you are sneaky sneaky. All right. I end my turn. And I set one car face down and end my turn. I am turn. now invisible. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. Tis your guy. So I'll leave out the door. Yeah. Whatever will I do, I'll follow him. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. You don't know. You don't know, which you don't know what way he went. You only know that he went out that door. No, no. I saw. I would see him go this way. The door is open. I would see him go to the right. I do perception. No, I would have seen him go through the right, dude. I'm watching him. He goes out the door. I would see him go to the right. He didn't. He didn't cast greater invisibility until after he was over here. I saw him take a right. He doesn't know how far I went, though. That's I, don't I guess you can go right. That's why yeah, I'm just I going. 20, uh, where I was here, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and then 30. So I'd be on top of him. So what would happen? Would I run into him? Mm, you would bump into him. Okay. Uh, depending, did you... You just did greater invisibility. You didn't do like any kind of... I just did, I'm just... He's invisible. invisible. Okay. I want you... If you, I, I, I've okay, never... Can I see the skill? I'm sorry. This is kind of like a scenario that doesn't happen that much. What? So, uh, just I want to see your sheet. Okay. I just want to see what skills I want you to check for. I mean, um, if he's in the space, I would hit him. Yeah, I know. You bump into him. That That's going to happen no matter what. Okay, I want you to do... Um, you... Uh, I want you to do an investigation, and then I want um, you, you're going to be knocked prone. Okay, he I'm bumps sorry. into you, you get knocked prone. I can't do any reaction to try to stay you up. Can, you can... I'm running into your space. Yes, but can I do anything to keep myself from just getting Well, then the other thing would be I would do strength against your check. I would do athletics against your acrobatics. If that's what yeah. you, if it was yeah, we can do that. We can do that. To negate the prone, so you have a chance, but you're going to do an investigation to see right, what well, I'll do the happen. athletics first. Yeah. Or Because you don't know, you don't even know I turned in this. Yeah, he doesn't know. No, I don't, but if I run into He's something. going to be like, what the fuck will happen? Yeah. And then you're going to investigate. So I figured, you know, you can do that kind of check. All right, so I only got a 12 to knock you prone. Okay, because I did an athletics, ch because I did an acrobatics check, and I am proficient with it. One of my rogue abilities means if I roll anything nine or lower, it becomes a ten. Okay. So okay. I have a twenty-six to acrobatics. All right. So you're not knocked prone, and now a new investigation check. Okay. So I got a solid ten. Uh, and do a stealth check. Then. You okay. Do a stealth. Check. Okay. Because I rolled less than ten again, it goes up to ten. So I have a twenty-six. To All right. So you you know you bumped into something, but you're like, what the. What just hit me right now? Like, what is going on? Right. So you guys are in the same space, by the way. Or actually, no. You can't be in the same can't space. Be in the same yeah, space. No, you can't be in the same space. So you're going to be this way. Let me move him like that. There you go. So where the fuck am yeah. I? Uh, you're that way. One square. There. So he pushed me. Yeah, he pushed you a little bit because, you know. All right. All right. Okay. And uh, well, let me try to figure out something I'm going to do. Yeah. I gotta figure something out. But I don't know for a fact he's there, and I don't know where he is, and I'm at Correct. my max movement. Yes. So I gotta figure out something to do. I didn't think you'd be invisible. <laughs> that, that didn't come up. <laughs> that didn't come up. I turned invisible. I am sneaky, stinky. <sighs> yeah, invisible is kind of dumb because investigation checks really suck. Uh, it's like one of the only things investigation checks are good for. Yeah. Okay, here. So I'll break. Uh, no, I don't need to break. Do I have to break concentration to cast other spells? If it's a concentration, it's a concentration. Then no. No. Okay, well then I will cast. What are you concentrating on right now? What's that? It's concentrating on that. Uh... I will cast destructive. Wa I'm cast the. Oh yeah, you tried to steal it. I'll cast destructive wave, and then within a thirty foot radius, all creatures must. All creatures I choose must uh, succeed on a Constitution saving throw or Does take. Does it have to be creatures that you can see? Because you can't see. No, does not have to be creatures I can see. 
You strike the ground, creating a burst of divine energy that ripples outwards from you. Each creature you choose within 30 feet of you must succeed on a constitution saving throw or take 5v6 thunder damage, as well as 5v6 radiant damage or necrotic damage, your choice, and be knocked prone. A creature that succeeds on saving throw takes half as much damage and isn't knocked prone. Right, can, 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 can I read it? Just in case. Can I constitution it saving throw. Constitution. Just to double check. I believe. It's the only AoE spell I have. So I will use Each a... Each you choose. Okay, well you have to choose. No, no, no. The, uh, y- yes, I choose him. I don't know he's there, but I choose him. I guess, yeah. You can it, it's literally... Here, think about it in real life. Yeah, I'm literally yeah. hitting the ground, and I hoping. say... I say you're everyone. Yeah, you're just hoping that you hit him. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, you're still hoping that you hit him. So, that makes so sense. I'm yep. just hitting everyone. Yep, yep. That works. Okay, so... Strike the ground creating, and so... You do a constitution saving... That was a fun thing to do. Hitting the ground and hoping mm-hmm. I hit something. Yeah. I mean, it is something. It is logical. You bumped into him, so well you don't well, know. I know it's him, yeah. but I know you're that hoping. I literally it's... walked out the door and he was gone. You're so hoping. I'm just like, it's him. Fuck it. Like you're he's, hoping. He's a sneaky little bitch. So hoping. The 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 really crappy thing is. Okay. If he manages to survive. Counter step. Yeah, you can do that. That's your reaction. Yep. Okay. So since mine is a fifth level spell slot. I need to no, I, I can't tell you what spell slot it is. So you have to roll a... Well, I do, because it's 10 plus whatever the level of whatever your spell you're doing. Yes, so So you roll a d20, Yeah. and then you have to roll a 15 or better. I got a 12. Okay, so which, then it doesn't and, go off. No, it also adds my spell casting ability. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. I'll look, I'll up, look up the spell. Yeah, look up counterspell. It adds my spell casting modifier. Okay. Yep, yep. So I, okay, but at the same time, if you're casting a spell within five feet of me... Then I see you casting the spell. It's it's a visual thing. I would see you casting He's a spell. Invisible. I'm still invisible. But you're casting a spell. The spell's not invisible. Only you are invisible. All right. Maybe you you've used your action. Okay. To do a spell. But I saw you cast a spell. What are the components for counter spell? This is important. BSM. Is it verbal? It's just somatic. So I, then, you, you, know, just you won't see it. Okay. That's wait 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 wait. It's verbal. Yes, you hear a voice. Okay. You hear a voice. Like, okay. But either way, if he casts a spell within five feet of me, then I can use my reaction to make a melee weapon against him. All right, you'll have disadvantage because I'm invisible. That's fine. Yeah, you can do that because you hear him now. Yes. So that's fine. Just got disadvantage on the attack. Okay. So it's going to be a 29 or a 28. Yeah, you hit me. Okay. So on your. <laughs> All right. So then I can't remember which. Which uh, smite did I say I used? You used the fifth level smite. And the no, no, I, I just used the fourth level smite. So I used the staggering smite. All right. Staggering smite's the one that gives you the extra one d eight. It gives me no, 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 no. Uh, I get an extra one d eight just because I'm above level eleven. Oh, okay. It's the staggering smite. Staggering level. smite is a four d six extra damage to the target, and um, did I use staggering smite? Uh, yes I did. Staggering Smite. Alright, so Staggering Smite. Next time you hit a creature with a melee weapon attack, your weapon pierces both body and mind, and the attack deals an extra 46 psychic damage to the target. The target must make a wisdom saving throw on a failed save and has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks and can't take reactions until the end of its next turn. So you're attacking him, but it, what kind, is that a spell? No, it was the Smite I used. Oh, that was from That was from last the previous turn. Yeah, 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 I got you. I'm sorry. I was like... Because it was the end of my turn. Yeah, yeah, and, you no, were I, here. Yeah, and he tried to steal it. I understand. Yeah, that's yeah, what I tried to steal yep, it. Yep, I was just remembering. I was just remembering. Okay, and then so I'm gonna hit you with that. So then it's gonna be, uh, so I will use a. I'm just gonna use a second level. Um, so three d eight. So three d eight. So three d eight. Three d eight, and then it's gonna be forty six. And then 1d12. So you're doing 3d6 to me and then 1d12 to me? No, 3d8, 3D yeah. 4d6, and 1d12. What's doing the 4d6? Your smite? Uh, the, uh, it's, the, it's the staggering smite. The one that you tried to steal? The one you tried to steal last turn? Oh, you tried to steal it. You were like spell steal and you tried to steal my shit. And yeah. then I succeeded on the throw. And that's just a reaction to do it? No, that was a bonus action on no, the last No, he turn. did that last round and then you tried to steal it. Remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 So, what are you doing with adding the 3d6? So, the 3d6, 
Um, the 4d6 is from Staggering Smite. The 3d8 is because I'm using Divine Smite. Yeah, okay. Whenever I hit with a melee weapon, I can do 2d8 if I use a spell slot, or an additional one if I use higher one. I'm only using a third one, so I get second level one. The second level one. Yeah, so I get 3d8, 3d8, 46, and a d12 for my weapon. Okay. So plus 4, so that's 16, 31, I'm dead. 50 something. I'm dead. Seriously? I have 42 HP. <laughs> You don't have anything to get you back up? I don't have any reactions. Well! Well then, guys, um, that was the, uh, <laughs> that divine smite putting in work. Yeah, yeah. I can't. Yeah. Let me read what Divine Smite says. Just, just in case. Just, it just seems it's a little bit... Some questionable methods. Questionable I don't methods know. Read it, no, yeah. I no, no, I don't read about Divine Smite. I gotta read it, Some questionable methods of finding me, but yes. <sighs> no, he just swung his sword Yes, but, how did it, but he, did he figure out it was me that was invisible? Well, no, no yes, when because anybody cast a spell within five feet of me... No, I'm I talking about the thundering, the... I didn't, I didn't see you, and I couldn't find you, so... I mean, even even if even if you were even if you were like way over there, he would have done it. That's what, I, that's what I would assume that would What you should have done, I mean, if not, you should have just been like, alright, I walk through the door and turn right, and then take your thing off the board and tell him where you're going, because then I really don't know. Yeah, yeah, no. He's right. You can yeah, you can do whatever. You can do as yeah, many well, times as you want. Well, guys! Oh, um, well. Welcome back to another exciting episode of each other. <laughs> Wait, no, that's the end of it. That was, uh, I actually had monsters and shit like that, but we lasted three rounds. Thanks to Mr. Tyrantzer over here. So... So don't do arcane rogue. No, what? I don't think that was. What a work if I could have actually fucking hid. Yeah, like well, the, I told the, you if I can't hide, I'm dead. The the only and real, I couldn't hide. So you, you had a well, what's going on with the mage no, hand, though? Oh, um, I can use it if there's someone within five feet of it. I can use it to give me advantage. The only problem, the only problem was he had a hundred and twenty. Yes, because he was, had, was on a horse. Yeah, yeah. If he didn't have the horse, he wouldn't have been able to get to me. Yeah. No, and then it would have been. Now I would have had Then I would have been hide. searching for you. Yeah. So, but thankfully, I took the horse. Yeah, he took the horse. So, guys, uh, I think that concludes the um, episode. Maybe we might do. Mm, we could do a rematch with some altered stuff. We can do some. We well, we might come back because uh, there was like what three rounds. Maybe yeah, we might come I back. I did uh, say that's what would happen if I can't yeah. hide. I'm dead. Yeah. yeah. So, um, Paladin won this one, but I'm thinking we're gonna make some modifications. And then, uh, I guess we will see you later in the next episode. See ya. See see you later, guys. guys. Paladin OP. Family. Hello, buddy. Welcome, Welcome back, back to the journey of your So we're gonna do. Uh, this is kind of like the post commentary of the fight that we just did. So we're gonna start explaining kind of like a more informative video of why did the paladin win, why did the rogue win, kind of things like that. So why don't we go to Mitch over here? Yeah. So why do you work. think um, two yeah. two major things were the thing there? For one, even though I have a plus four to initiative, he has a plus zero. He beat me at the initiative. Which means that he got a turn before I could prepare, a, prepare and hide. And I think that's, that's huge. That's it's very, very. I think we've noticed this after two one v ones at least. At, at least I've noticed. And then we did multiple other one v ones. And then the other one. Said, no, no, no. You went first like in that one in the last one v one. And yeah, he, he had did. a big advantage in the first. Yeah, round yeah, 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 yeah. But it was just because Monk, you know, you Monk is really good in one v ones. But yeah. I think the main the thing, two, the two reasons your monk got ahead is for one, you had the couple levels in Warlock to use the hex to lower yeah. my concentration. It was Bane from yeah. Uh, yeah. Paladin or cleric. Yes, well, you had the cleric levels to and the cleric spell. The yeah. one thing, you were, and you had the quivering palm. To, the cool quivering, quivering palm, palm was my was only shot. Yeah, yeah, because you're barbarian and you had so much health. Yeah. The only possible way I could have beaten you there is if I could auto reset you to zero. The only, the I think the major thing is at least like one v ones. Initiative is super, super important. And I think the one major thing that gave the Paladin so much advantage is that you had 150 move speed. 120. Well, 120. Well, if I jump off, I would then have you jump, and, and that's what you did. Yeah, right? but it cost half my movement. Yeah, so, so 135 movement. Correct. So he has 135 movement. So even if he's halfway across the stadium, it doesn't matter. He can still get up in Mitchell's face. And that's what I think the major thing was. However, I think we did theorize this. So, and you were talking about this. Yes, I, I remember this. If Mitchell went first, or if the rogue went first, what do you think would have happened? Okay, so if, if he would have gone first, assuming your first instinct would either be to come here and hide, right? You would you would have jumped into, jumped into a building and hide. Yeah. And hide, right? And then my turn comes around. So I run all the way down over here, 
And then, well, actually, I'd probably be like here, and I'd be like, "All right, I don't know where he is. You're invisible, yeah. right? At that point, you would have yeah. gone invisible. Yeah, either invisible or just like gone into a building and just did a hide. So I legitimately have no idea where you would have been. Yeah. So he doesn't know if he's over here. He doesn't know if he's in this if building. I went this way. Yeah. I don't know. And I think the one thing is that uh, Tyler or the paladin or whatever did not have any counters to invisibility. No. 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 I zero. Had, I had neg one to uh, investigation, only a plus one to perception. I literally had no way of finding. So essentially, what would have happened, I think, is that Mitchell would have just cut you, you to death. Yes. Like literally, literally, you would not know where these attacks are coming from, and it would have been over. Yes. Like even if you had the amount of health. So I think that this fight, unfortunately, we thought it'd be really cool, but it, it it's very one sided. So who uh, goes uh, first? My, my my initial thoughts on this was so on a one v one fight, it, it's because it almost turns down to either who goes first or who actually gets to hit something. So, you know, it, it's, it's so RNG that I think the only way we could leg- legitimately do these kind of fights anymore is if we did a 2v2 and we both made two characters instead of just one. Because then I could have a mage helping me find you and then this guy doing the damage. And you could have had him hiding and doing and kiting while you had another guy occupying my time. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think like D and D is made to be a squad based game. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not supposed yeah, to be. Yeah, it's not supposed to be one v one. But a lot of people. Love the one v ones. The one v ones are amazing because people want to know what the different tiers of the characters are. But I mean, if there's no way to balance, it's, it. it's very it's very swingy, I guess. Like especially with this fight, with the monk and the barbarian was actually very a very good fight. You know, yeah. that was very good fight. Yeah, I think that those two characters are. You know, what I think we should do. I think because the other went so quick, we should show both. Scenarios. We sure. already showed we, what happened if Paladin went first. Now we should show what happens if Rogue went first. Well, I mean, we pretty much know what's going to happen. Yeah, but I mean, people might want to see it. I mean, Since if we, we want to do that, then that's fine. Since that match literally took, like, maybe maybe It was 45 minutes. minutes. I checked the time. It was, like, 30, 35 minutes. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Because it's all the rolling and the talking and everything. I got you. Okay. I mean, so it was a pretty long... So if we want to do that, we can do record that. If you guys want to see the other side and just say... Mitchell goes first. Theoretically. Then we can record another. So why don't you leave a comment down below if you want to see that, and then we'll record it for you guys. Yeah, we'll I mean, and then just happen. theorize that, and then, you know. And I, then we won't change these characters at all. Yeah. Because we wouldn't know, so we won't touch these. And then we'll just say that Mitchell went first. Mm-hmm. And then we'll see, uh, we'll see, see actually, goes. like, how it pans out, essentially. All right. Okay, well, I think that kind of concludes our analysis or whatever. I think that a lot of people li- like these videos, so I think we want to... Like, I think I want to just, uh, keep continuing to make them, mm-hmm. but we can go off of that kind of two v two idea. We can try that. For we can try that for like you know another video or whatever. And um, if you guys want to see the other side of this, how this would have gone the other way, then uh, just leave a comment and then we'll do it. But I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence about it. So if you guys want to see it though, yeah. Uh, also, another thing is, um, uh, as you guys know, I do a lot of informative videos. I'm an informative person. So if you guys actually want to, uh, if you kind of like liked this analysis, kind of. Thing of what we were talking about, who would win this and that scenario, whatever. I think we um, can actually break it down. We, yeah, we can break it down too uh, in like an actual like you know with the spe- uh, specific about. video, and maybe we could come up with. Uh, I always wanted to do a with you guys, especially a tier list video for the actual characters um, when you're talking about a party, because there's a lot of like things on Reddit and stuff like that. But we did. I mean, I know there's not a lot of breakdown for why. Um, yeah, there's not really any, they're just saying, Moon Circle Druid is S. Yes! Why though? What kind of spells make him S? What kind of, you know, things like that. And uh, I have a lot, a lot of knowledge on spellcasters, and these two, these two have a lot of knowledge on all the melee stuff. So I think that that'd be a really good idea. Especially, you're good with all, like, the sneaky people. Like, oh, I don't know anything. I like punching that. dudes. I like, he likes punching I like people. sneaky and barbaric. Yeah. So, I mean, and we all have played classes that are different. I mean, I, I've literally so, played almost every class. The only one I haven't touched yet is Ranger, and I know. There's, a, there's a reason. <laughs> there's a um, reason for that. <laughs> so, so, essentially, spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah. like, uh, but maybe we can do, like, another video just discussing um, the different kind of tiers uh, of the characters. So, I think that would be fun, too. That would be fun. That would be a good idea. So, um, just, yeah, leave a comment. Uh, make sure to like this video. And if you guys want to see more, then we're going to give more and... Oh, you're going to give it to Oh, me. I'm going to give it to Alright, make sure and you hit the subscribe button. Too. Make sure you hit that young sub button, that young, and uh, Mitchell's going to be signing us off. Alright, this has been D&D with HL Wow. HL Wow! Alright, see you later, guys.